I was in the mood for some pizza. I just hit the gym, did biceps and triceps today. Now, before you ask like why I keep looking at that, it's just to make sure everything keeps recording. Uh, I did order the cheese crust. There was an option. Um, my issue with Domino's always is the fact that like, bro, they're so greedy, but we're gonna try the pizza because I'm hungry. Let's try it out. This is the medium one. It has bacon on it. it has, okay, so it has onions. It's got some form of like sauce on it. I'm gonna say barbecue sauce. I could be completely wrong. Cheers. I don't taste no cheese crust. I'm, I, will, I will be honest, right? Straight off the bat. The barbecue sauce is kind of too much. Let's see what this does. This is tiny ass pizza. Holy shit, bro. Bro, I just realized how tiny this pizza actually really is. But let me tell you guys something. Oof, that does look like a good bite. It's just really fucking salty. I don't know if it's because of the pork. But it's really salty. Honestly, this shouldn't cost more than twelve ninety nine, but it's a good, it's a decent pizza. The thing is with Domino's, it slaps when you're drunk. Mm hmm. Got a bit of that sweet sour sauce on top of that. It was biceps and triceps today, and let me tell you, I don't feel them anymore, bro. I've done overtime with with them today. It's also bulking season right now. Everyone, I, I mean, depending on your body physique, but I had to bulk due to the fact that I lost a bit of muscle a few weeks ago. That was just because of the fact I was partying so much, not eating good. And then also, not hitting the gym. But I feel so much better since hitting the gym. I don't get a twist. I don't do no dirty bulk. I'm not a big fan of that personally. Because it affects my skin. I don't know if you've ever had that. You can do a dirty bulk. Um, but the issue with dirty bulk often is that it's a lot of sugars involved. And sugar is carbs. Carbs are sugar. It's not necessarily bad carbs. You need that when you're bulking. But when you do dirty bulk, you just eat whatever the fuck you want. And for a lot of people, the cheaper option is often just to get a shitload of chocolate in there. Which, to each their own, but I ain't doing that. It's got a nice bit of spice in this too. I like it. I had football this weekend. Yeah, it didn't go great. So I went out Saturday in Knokke. I got home at like 6 a.m. in the morning. I had to wake up at 11. Arrive at football. Come to find out I was too late. So yeah. That's not great, is it? No. It was luckily a home game. A home game, so that's good. Hmm. We scored the first goal. Terrible goal. I think they scored three goals in like 20 minutes. No, 15. Well. Yeah. Then it was 4-1 in 30 minutes. I'm like, shit. This game is done. I had some good saves there, but the majority of the saves were just one on ones. So it was alright. A lot of people underestimate being a goalkeeper, right? Like, it looks easier than it is, but it ain't. I can only imagine being professional how much. I mean, I can understand the stress, but more like. Mm, What's it say? I think it's more pressure, you know? Like, the thing is, as a goalkeeper, when you make a mistake, everyone fucking blames you, right? This actually might be the first time that order from them that there's, like, no, like, taste of it, you know? So this week as well, man, I mean, it's funny because later this afternoon, I'm going out. Maybe tomorrow, I don't... My friend says she don't want to go out tomorrow, but knowing her, that's a big ass lie. So we'll probably go out anyways. Um, but saying that, you know, we have a party Saturday already. So it's like that one day of being relaxed can definitely have a huge impact on Saturday. Because I also have a football match Sunday. 
So yeah, one and a half that's one to go. Well, lately I've been eating the crust more. This type of crust, perfect. When I was in Italy, bro, I've said it before, man. The the pizzas and pastas and spaghettis and everything else in Italy is just phenomenal, man. Bro, it's insane what they make there. Like, there are so many good places in Italy that make everything on scratch. Like, you go into the kitchen, or you walk past the kitchen, and they're making the pasta fresh for you. Netherlands, they don't really do that often. <laughs> no, Netherlands is often just shit out of a bag. No, but for real, it is often just pasta out of a bag. Which, again, is not bad, but, like, you're paying 15 bucks for a pasta dish. I would at least like it to be at least freshly made. Then I at least know, okay, I'm paying for quality. But it saves time and money for a lot of restaurants, I suppose. But... I'm, really, I'm not a huge fan of, um, like the thing is with pasta in my opinion, I have to be in the mood for it. And it's a dish that I don't eat very often. Not at all. And if I do eat it, man, I have it with parmesan, obviously, bro. Pizza with parmesan as well, or par par parma, and something else. Like when I was in Italy, I had this one pizza, and, it, and it's fucking huge. It's less money than this. And it was four times the size. That thing was huge. God, and uh, Domino's in Italy. You know, I'm going to say something. I have not seen one Domino's in Italy. That at least that I remember or, or knowledge. It, when I was in Milano, which amazing city, phenomenal culture, dress, clothing culture, and just people. I have a friend she lived there as well. I'm actually going to visit her soon. A lot of the people that were in Starbucks when I was in there were... Um, People like me, foreigners, right? Really Italians, they know exactly what places to go and to avoid. And it's very obvious that they like to stick with their Italian side, which is understandable, though. Um, but Domino's, I'm, I'm going to be very upfront and honest. I have, not, I have not seen one Domino's in Milano or in Italy in general. I don't even f know if it's a thing in Italy. I honestly have no clue. It may be a thing. It may not, but you'd expect it to be a big thing in like a city like Milan, but... I was not able to uh, to find it. I was also not actively looking for it or searching because of the fact that, like, we all know Domino's Pizza, bro, is actually really only good when you're drunk. That's the truth. I cannot say one pizza from Domino's that I used to have in the past that I was like, oh, yeah, this is the shit. Back maybe when I lived in Rotterdam because they used to actually top off the pizza completely with, with everything that you could decide of. But here they're pretty greedy. Like this pizza, like I said, was sixteen ninety nine. Do I think it was worth it? Absolutely no. Sorry, it was fifteen ninety nine. Nah, not at all. Okay, yeah, I added the cheesy crust, which is a two euro fifty option. Okay, but that was disappointing because there's no cheesy crust. Do you see cheese? I don't see or taste it. So next time, if I do get a cheesy crust, I'm gonna tell them like, listen, can you put a little bit of cheese on my stuff? Cause they ain't fucking on it. And the thing with Domino's, they've always done this. Is they always make the base so lay thinly layered and then like no toppings on it at all. That's why I, when I do order pizza or get a pizza, I try to kind of avoid Domino's. But I happened to be in a neighborhood and I was like, why not? So I thought I'd get it. But yeah, I mean, it's probably a five and a half out of ten. And that's just being, that's being very generous at the moment. But I feel like I've got to stop comparing the pizza I had in Italy with the pizzas I have now. Like, unfortunately, just nothing's going to top it. If it was up to me, I'd go on a plane right now, go to Naples or Milano and just get a fucking pizza. Just to get a garden pizza and head back home the same afternoon. Because, you see, the thing is, they put so much love and passion into making the pizzas. You can, you can taste it and they give you massive portions. You can seriously just... Order one pizza and it's good enough for two people. Although, I love to eat one pizza on my own. Which is definitely something me and my best friend did every time we had pizza. Yeah, we share food. We, you know, we, we share other stuff as well. Like, bro, I'm seeing her tomorrow, man. Lovely woman. She's phenomenal. She's fantastic. I'm actually very glad I met her. I, I said it before. We met up in Rosendal. That's how we met up together. And since then, we've just been very good close friends. You know, we've been on vacation Let's see what countries have we been to. So we've been to a 
I mean, we've been Belgium, Germany, Netherlands. She lives in Belgium. Uh, we've also been to Switzerland. Fuck, where else have we been? Italy. As far as I know, that's all the countries we've been to. But we both want to go back to Milan because we both loved it. And we just kind of felt like we hadn't explored everything from Milano, even though we were there for a week. But like my biggest reason is to go back to Milan is A. I have a friend that lives there. She can guide me through the entire city, show me the best places in there, which is fantastic. Second of all, she's awesome to be around with and also great to party with. And three, I, I'm I'm always down for like a little mini vacay. Like if I go to Milan, I'll probably say max seven days, not longer, because I feel like Milan around this time, October, November, I don't know how nice it is. Because like I did ask her, obviously, like, you know, what about December? What's Milano? Like, she says it's phenomenal. You will, you love it if you love Christmas. I say, well, shit, maybe I'll come in December. That's a nice thing about going out, man. I've said it before. You can make friends and build up friendships. Like, that's, that's just amazing. And, like, the best people always come unexpected in your life. That's just what's so fantastic about things that happen unexpected. Some things are meant to happen and some things just unfortunately are meant to happen in life. And that's something you have to just accept and live and move forward with and be like... She, it is what it is. Can't do much about it. But anyways, man, I hope you enjoyed it. I have a new ASMR video coming up tomorrow for y'all, and I, I shall see you next time. Adios, amigo.